Thank you very much for joining us here on Sports Wrap Up, uh, Sports Central, rather, this lovely uh, morning. Now, uh, um, we'll talk about Sports Wrap Up in a bit. It's been all over my head where we'll talk about the latest news making rounds in the world of uh, sport. My name is Rat James, and it's a pretty fine morning to be back right here this morning. Now, um, the uh, event in the US, we're talking the tennis event in Indian Wells, um, may have closed up shop, but of course, uh, in the other uh, U.S. coast, opposite U.S. coast, we're talking about in Miami, uh, the event steps off in the WTA later today. We'll tell you about the top seats and, of course, uh, the opening fixtures we should concern ourselves with as uh, we build up to another fortnight of um, fantastic tennis across the WTA. And for the ATP, well, we'll tell you the latest concerning the drills conducted yesterday, including top players like Daniel Matvedev, the likes of Novak Djokovic, Stefano Sissipas, we're talking Cameron Nori and the likes. We are back here on the continent of Africa talking about athletics. There's news concerning Blessing of Cabri this particular morning uh, concerning her 10-year doping ban. We'll bring it the very latest. Uh, likewise, we'll stay on the continent and talk about the build-up uh, to the World Cup playoffs between the Super Eagles of Nigeria and the Black Stars of Ghana. The number in camp is swelling by the days we speak as we prepare ourselves for uh, the uh, first leg which comes up in Kumasi this Friday. Ghana have also released uh, their squad ahead of that particular uh, fixture. Crunch time it is and we'll get to tell you about the very fine details that will determine where that goes at the end of the day. So join us every step of the way. Now let's begin in typical fashion with um, Sports Wrap for bringing you the very latest news from around the world of sport. It's time. Tennis is where we're in a conversation this morning. Now, following the conclusion of the Padua Open, the Sunshine Swing continues on the opposite the US coast with the Miami Open, the third WC 1000 tournament of 2022. It kicks off with a slate of intriguing first round clashes featuring rising stars, established faces and players on the comeback trail. Now let's start with Alison Van Utnik of Belgium taking Mata Kustic of Ukraine in the first round. And for them it's a first time encounter between two of the tall's most skilled but unpredictable shot makers. Kustic won one of Indian Wells most memorable matches this year, saving two match points to defeat Marina Zinevska in an emotional three-year marathon between two Ukrainian-born players. Elsewhere, Bulgaria for an All-American derby between Shelby Rogers and, of course, Amanda Nismova. And, of course, this would bring back fond memories for Rogers, if not for Anismova. The pair's last uh, meeting was in the second round of Charleston last year, and Anismova led 6 law 4-1 before a remarkable turnaround in front of our hometown crowd. Rogers eventually won that particular one. Love 6, 7-5. Six four. Now, in the best of the rest, ranked number 409 uh, two weeks ago, Daria Savio became the lowest ranked player to reach the Indian World's fourth round since uh, 473rd ranked uh, Victoria Kotuzova in 2005. Savio opened against uh, Grit Minin, whom she defeated in last year's Billie Jean King Cup. Now, Jasmine Paulini, fresh off her first top 10 win over Arena Sabalenka in Indian Wells, faces a Katarina Alexandrova. The pair's only previous meeting was in the first round of the 2016 Tavneda ITF 10K event won by Alexandrova in straight sets. In another class, Yulia Putinteva, who reached the Miami fourth round in 2019, opened against 18 year old German wildcat Nastasia Schunk. Zen Quinn, 19, takes in Magda Linet. The winner takes an eight seated on Shabu. Now, to the men's draw where Daniel Medvedev has a path back to world number one at the Miami Open. But yesterday's draw has presented a 26 year old with several tricky roadblocks in Florida. The top seed faces a potential second round matchup at the ATB Masters 1000 event with another former world number one in the form of Andy Murray. Medvedev can take hearts from the pair's only previous meeting, however as he beats the Brits in straight sets in Brisbane in 2019. 27th seed Christian Garin is a potential third-round opponent to our dangerous American talent Jensen Broxby. Doha champion Roberto Bautista Agut could await in the fourth round. 
Defending champion Hobart Hookers from Poland also lies in Medvedev's quarter of the draw. The ball, who will begin a side to defense against either Laszlo Jerry or Arthur Rudenek, has a potential testy fourth round meeting awaiting him with 12 seeded Denis Shapovalov. Now, let's leave tennis and talk about golf, where three time champion Phil Mikkelsen is set to meet the Masters next month for the first time in 28 years. Mikkelsen is now 51, is taking a break from the game after apologizing for his criticism of Saudi Arabia's regime. On Monday, Mikkelsen's name was removed from a list of active players competing at the tournament, which he last won in 2010. The Masters, which was won last year by Japan's Hideki Mochiyama, begins at Augusta National on the 7th of April. Now to athletics, where Nigerian sprinter Blessing Okabre has failed to appeal the 10-year ban slammed on her by the athletics Integrity Unit, AIU, Disciplinary Tribunal for the present and use of multiple prohibited substances and a refusal to cooperate with the, I, the AIU's investigation into our case. The 33-year-old Nigerian threatened to take up her rights to appeal against the Disciplinary Tribunal decision at the Court of Arbitration of Sports cast within 30 days, which elapsed on March 18, 2022. But the Court of Arbitration of Sports cast says the former Commonwealth Games double sprint champion did not file any appeal upon inquiry. Okabra is denied taking prohibited substances by injection or at all. In support of Adina, she pointed to a long history of negative tests, including 10 of the 12 she underwent between 16th April 2021 to the 30th of July 2021. Now to football. Winantes winger Moses Simon is the latest player to hit the Super Eagles of Buja Camp ahead of the 2022 World Cup doubleheader against the Black Stars of Ghana. Simon's latest arrival means there are 13 players currently in the Eagles camp. He joins the likes of Kelechi Ihana Cho, Ola Aina, Semi Ajayi, Leon Balogun, Ahmed Musa, and William Trustekong, among others, as early arrivals for the crucial playoffs. The Eagles will be guests to the Black Stars on Friday 25th at the Baba Yara Stadium. And Kumasi Miwa, Ghana head coach Otto Addo is named a 27 man squad for the FIFA World Cup playoffs against Nigeria. Crystal Palace forward Jordan Liu is included in his squad thus by testing positive for COVID 19. Belgium based a duo of Dennis Odoi and Elisha Wusu, Montani Kamahena of Ashdod FC in Israel, and Dennis Kosha of Heart of Oaks were handed debut call ups by Addo. Rumor young star Felix Afena Giang is also included in the squad after he failed to make the cuts to the 2021 African Cup of Nations in Cameroon. Captain Andrea you missed out due to suspension. Ghana will host the first leg at the Babu Yara Sports Stadium, Kumasi, on Friday before travelling to Abuja for the second leg next Tuesday.